hi guys and this is a really fun addition as well um we are going to create a really cute little memory spread on our bullet journal um we're just going to kind of put in between two pages and it's going to be very similar to the christmas shaker that i made for my december spread so it's really easy to do and it's straightforward and it makes the memory look really cute so for me i'm going to be using my son's picture that i got on a polaroid and i'm just going to snip it out and pop it in and just really give it a pop of color as well so don't forget to subscribe in below and let's get started Okay, we're going to get started with two cut files that I got from scrapbook.com. They're the all of my heart cut files and really cute. And then I'm going to create a little circle in the middle of two pages. Just make it really easy. And for this particular circle, I'm going to use a backdrop of kind of a wood paper. It gives it a wood feel and it makes it feel really textured. I'm now going to take my watercolor paints and I'm going to paint a rainbow all the way around. I love Roy Jibiv. I'm going to take some Amy Tangerine stamps and I'm going to add some hearts and add all the joy. You can see that the photo now fits in perfectly. I'm going to stick in my backdrop and I'm going to cut out my photo to make sure that it fits into my little snow globey memory page perfectly. There we go, stuck in. All right, let's move on to the next part, which I'm really excited about. This is where we put a little bit of glitter in a cellophane bag, and this is kind of our snow globe feel. I'm then going to position it onto the page and stick the two pages together to keep the little snow globe in place. All right, let's double check that our little circle of hearts still fits beautifully around. I've already pre-prepared my stickers by collecting a whole bunch of rainbow sayings to go around my rainbow. I'm now going to stick them in and I'm also going to add a couple of florals as I go if they fit and if they match. Okay, let's stick in our cute little ring of hearts and add in a couple of extra embellishments. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to add my You Have All of My Heart up at the top. It's kind of a scrapbooky feel, isn't it? So, now that we're done, we're going to finish it off with just a couple of extra stamps here and there. And then we're going to make sure that it shakes really well. I'd love to see your recreation on The Art of Bujo. Don't forget to tag us and use the hashtag. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to visit us elsewhere, we are all over Instagram. Come and visit us. We're also on Pinterest, Facebook, and you can hit us up on email as well. Look forward to seeing you next time.